With the success of our SX20 review, I decided to pick up the updated version, the Gaumon SX30. This is a $30 entry-level tablet directed for artists that want to dive into the world of digital creations. In this video, I'll give you the in and outs of everything you need to know about this tablet and see if it's a good addition to assist you with your creativity. I should note that this tablet review is directed for artists only and not in any way related to Osu. I did however make a separate video to cover all those bases as well, so if that's what you're interested in, I'll include a link for that in the description of this video. Now with that said, let's begin. For the unboxing, the front of the box has an image displayed of the tablet, and on the back side, you have the label descriptions for all the specs and inclusions. Quickly going over everything that's inside, you receive a thank you card as well as instructions to download the drivers for the device. We'll move the tablet to the side for now so that we can discuss the rest of the accessories. In this pouch, you find a bag containing extra pen nibs and a tool to remove them. This is the connectivity wire used to power the device, it's an L-shaped micro USB cable. Here is a USB-C dongle to connect your tablet to Android devices. This is cute, you receive a complimentary bookmark as a bonus, and lastly, you have your pen. With that out of the way, let's get into the main course, the tablet itself. Let's first go over the design, and then we'll talk about the specs. The first thing that caught my attention is the shape and doodles on the surface. The tablet is squared shape with the ergonomic design to it. There are four buttons near the top that you can use to integrate tool shortcuts. At the bottom, you have these grooves that curve down to assist when resting your wrists and hands on a tablet. The back side has four rubber stops around the corners to keep the device in place when operating. On screen, I'll provide the tablet's dimension as well as the size for the active area and metric measurements. I'll also include conversions for those that use the Imperial system. The entire tablet comes in roughly at 190 millimeters for the height, 177 for the length, and 6 millimeters for the width. Take a look at these four white indicators on the surface. This is the active area which is used to operate the tablet with measurements of 129 by 80 millimeters. It's formatted in a rectangular shape to cater towards most monitor displays that consist with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. For the weight of the tablet, it's incredibly light weighing in at 168 grams. RPS or report rating should also be mentioned. This is another term that you can refer to for the polling rating of the tablet. Modern tablets such as the Gaumon SX30 comes with an RPS of 266. This will assist you to give you precise and smooth references for your cursor when it's in motion. Moving on, let's go over the pen that is used to pair with this device. It's pretty standard now that pen should be batteryless and free of wires. The way that this is possible is through a technology known as EMR when the pen is used in conjunction with the tablet. There are 8192 levels of pen pressure, so depending how hard you press down, it'll give you different levels of pen strokes. The pen resolution comes in at 5080 LPI. Pen resolution basically means how many lines are displayed within an inch. The higher the LPI, the more lines that will be available. In this case, you can fit 5080 lines within an inch. The higher the resolution, the higher the quality, so on a general basis, the maximum LPI you would need is only 1000, which means that this pen provides you with the maximum amount possible. The tablet is compatible with your standard operating system. It can also function in other various ways that I'll put on screen for your reference. Before we move on, we must first talk about the software that we'll use to operate this device. Here, you can tinker with the pen pressure sensitivity by changing the curves. There is a pressure test to preview your adjustments. You can change the pen buttons and assign them to different shortcuts to your liking. For the tablet, you have four express keys that you can assign to different shortcuts as well. For the workspace tab, this is where you're going to change the size of your active area or customize the output to your display. For the performance aspects, I'll demonstrate how the tablet works. I'm using Clip Studio Paint and doing a sketch from a recently popular anime. I'm using references to follow along and seeing what I'm capable of doing with this tablet. Honestly, you don't really need much, and for a $30 tablet, it really provides you with a lot of possibilities. I'm not an artist, and I hardly ever draw if anything, but being able to do this much is outstanding for me. To wrap things up, this tablet is available to be purchased on Amazon for around $30. You can take advantage of the 2-day shipping or same-day shipping by using Prime. For international users, there's an option to purchase it from Gaumon's website. That will conclude my review of Gaumon's SX30. It's a nice tablet to get on a budget and is capable of doing so much. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away. I do plan on reviewing more tablets in the future, so it'll be fun to see what's in store for us next. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.